the guy is trying to find the right woman. Mm -hmm. um, and he's sincere that this is like, he's trying to find someone for marriage. Uh, looks should be like the last thing. I mean, I was talking about how I had a list. Yeah. Looks were, were not like the first thing. They were probably the last thing on the list. Generally, you'll know right away when you meet somebody if you're if you feel like zero attraction or you know negative attraction or whatever it is. But if you feel any sort of mm -hmm. attraction or even like like you could, so now put that aside. Like right away, like put that to the side. Yeah. Because um, somebody's looks, anybody's looks, is um, is changing. It's ever changing. Uh, so I would say that men should definitely be looking for character over, over looks. And that sometimes you might even find the best women are the ones who are not these hot girls that you're seeing. Um, mm -hmm. Because I feel like this is just my own, uh, I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying it, but I feel like the prettier a girl is, the more deficient she is in so many other qualities. Mm -hmm. um, you know when they say that if someone is blind, then their other senses are heightened, yeah. right? Like they can smell better, they can hear better. <laughs> I feel like when um, when a girl's sense of beauty is really, really heightened, mm -hmm. it's almost as if her other qualities yeah. dull down mm -hmm. because she hasn't had to work on those qualities. She hasn't had to have a great personality because people will listen to her even if she's talking nonsense because, you know, she's so beautiful. Like, also just, like, listen to her and smile, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, um, people will agree with her even when she's, like, me, you know, even when she's talking about things she knows nothing about or, right. you know, you those weird kinds of things where yeah. um, you, you will attribute qualities to beautiful people that they don't actually have. Mm. You know, so, like, you'll meet a, uh, a really beautiful girl and she was all right. But you'll come out of it saying, oh, she has amazing personality and yeah. she has amazing this. That amazing that. Yeah. yeah. And and if somebody didn't know how she looked and they just heard the conversation, they'd say like, oh, well, she's mediocre <laughs> at best. Right. <laughs> so I think guys give a lot of credit where there's no credit due just because of looks. And they're the ones who are going to suffer from that, because if you actually marry those those pretty girls who have nothing else to offer. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find out that beauty is fleeting. And uh, sometimes even when the beauty hasn't gone, sometimes it's fleeting. So I'll tell you a story my dad told me to try to get me to understand. And he said that uh, like one of his best friends in high school married his high school sweetheart. And she was like, like the, the equivalent of our prom queen, right? Like she was the prettiest girl in, in school. And uh, you know, all the guys in the school were like, lucky guy because like after they finished high school i don't know if it was you know how far after they got married mm -hmm. so this guy marries the prettiest girl in school that everybody had a crush on then he meets him years later it's like oh like raul for whatever his name is like how have you been oh you lucky sob you've been married to you know whatever her name is this whole time like how is it tell me what is it like and he's like i hate my life uh -huh. I hate my life. And he's like, what? How could you say that? You're married to the girl that we're all like, you know, drooling over. Mm -hmm. And he's like, trust me, I'd rather be married to anyone else. Wow. And so uh, he said, he went on to say like, she doesn't, she doesn't treat me well. She's mm -hmm. always, every night there's a no, new reason for new drama. <laughs> every day there's a new reason that she's upset with me. Um, I can never touch her. It's like, and if, if I can, um, like physically be intimate with her. It's it's a carrot on a stick. She just wants something from me or doesn't want me to do something. Mm -hmm. And so it's using to using to manipulate me. So he said like it's like like I I, I use it's like having a Ferrari with no engine, right? Like it doesn't drive. <laughs> it just mm -hmm. looks good in the garage but can't move. Right? Like the, the motor's shot. Yeah. What's the point of it? Like there, there's no point. So I would say be wary of the good looks without other stuff, it should be other things that are much more, should be much more valued at much more higher things or else you'll, you'll learn sooner or later that 
it's a miserable life having someone who is beautiful but with no other depth um, or no other things brought to the table. Yeah. Um, that person is eventually going to be the mother of your children. She's eventually going to be just an old woman and you're going to be an old man. <laughs> so are you going to enjoy hanging out with them? Mm -hmm. Right? Like you have to know that there's there has to be more than just yeah. I, I find her attractive. Mm -hmm. um,